<clears throat> Hello guys and gals, and this is a movie review for Infinite. It's a movie I found at Redbox. Didn't know what to expect, but it had Mike Mark Wahlberg in it. Wonderful actor. And so, yeah, I decided to give it a try. Um, plus, I had a code to get... <laughs> A dollar twenty-five off off of a rental, so <laughs> it only cost me um seventy-four cents <clears throat> to rent it for uh one night. So that was good. Anyways, I found the movie to be really, really good. I thought really, really interesting concepts here. It's a movie that basically deals with reincarnation. The infinites being people who are reincarnated and are able to remember all their past lives, and um that makes for an interesting an interesting situation um, plus it makes for a good um, plot device apparently as um, described in the intro there are two factions of these people who were reincarnated and can actually remember you know their past um, one faction is the nihilists the ones that want the world to be destroyed because they don't like remembering everything and then the other faction are like the good guys, the one the the ones that use their knowledge and their the knowledge of their past lives to improve humanity. Anyways, um, really, it was a fascinating movie, and I found it very immersive. The soundtrack was catchy, very catchy. Um, also immersive. Um, I forget how long the movie was, like an hour forty seven minutes. I want to say somewhere around there somewhere around an hour and 50 minutes and I didn't find myself looking to see how far along the movie was at all because I was really sucked into um, into what was going on I thought the movie was well paced um, some movies you know they have a slow start and then it they get better you know as they go on this one basically was well paced all throughout which was really really good um, Trying to remember all my all the bullet points here, um, because I always do these on the fly, and I just watched the movie, got done watching it, so everything is still fresh in my mind. Um, really, really a fascinating concept, though. It delves rather deep into the um, concept of reincarnation, and um, yeah. There, um, the villain was very convincing. Um, I don't remember who played the villain. Um, I could probably find out real quick. Um, infinite movie villain. Villain, there it is. Ah! I thought his name, I thought that he looked familiar. It was, uh, I'm going to butcher this name and not intentionally either. I uh, I don't know how to pronounce this name and I'm sorry. Um, Chiwetel Ejiofor? I'm going to say it's Chiwetel Ejiofor. I'm probably wrong and I apologize. I'm terrible with pronunciation, so please don't hate me over that. Um, but he was very, very good at his role. I think all the actors in the movie did really, really well. Whether you were just like, um, you know, someone who died in like the first few minutes or if you were just in the background, I think all the roles were very well acted. Um, it starts with a really cool car chase. That's always really, really good. Car chases are always, you know, a big draw. Um, I mean, they had the, um, the whole um, Fast Five or the, you know, Furious Five or whatever it was, you know, that had all the car chases. So they ma basically made a franchise just on car chases, which was really a good one. And there's actually nine movies in that franchise. So the point is that car chases sell. There was an especially good one in um, the second Kingsman movie. And um, I will be going over, I will be doing a review of the first Kingsman movie eventually, but the second Kingsman movie is already on the channel. Anyways, let's talk about Infinite a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 
I thought the plot was plausible, actually. Um, it made sense. Um, it did use some futuristic elements and sci-fi elements, which were still very well done. Um, fascinating movie, and one that I'm really glad I checked out, and it's one that you should check out, too. <laughs> there was lots of action, and um, good action. I mean, we're not talking um, John Wick, you know, with the entire movie being all action. This was... Um, still had some very 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 good scenes um and um yeah it gave me um slight well near the end <coughs> excuse me it gave me uh, matrix vibes which is perfectly <laughs> perfectly good because um i think it drew inspiration from that franchise as well though i'm not certain um anyways um Overall, the movie was amazing, and you should check it out if you get the option. Um, anyways, um, I'm trying to think of if there's anything else I'm missing here, because I don't really know what people want in movie reviews. So I try to cover all the bases. Um, personally, I found the movie to be very, very good. Um, I'm not sure if it was drawing from a, an existing work or anything like that, so I can't really compare it to um, an existing work, because I'm not sure if that was the inspiration or if it was a completely new concept still it was a very very good movie and um one that you should check out but that's that's just my opinion and you can either take my opinion or leave it either way is fine and if you like this content make sure you like and subscribe ring the bell so you know when i upload also if you want to support me in any way or if you want to join the discord server all that information will be in the description below as always thanks for watching everyone you are loved and have a great day